Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Colonel Aldous Valor here. I, uh, I get a, a message from uh, my future wife, we'll say, and uh, she, asked, she asked me to make a video yelling at somebody, and that person was uh, Jesus for Life 2. So, uh, Jesus for Life 2, you're going down. So, she'll go down. Your attention, please. Please yell if you are paying attention. Ah! Bad opening joke. Well, no, it was it was good in that it was funny, but it was bad in that it was offensive, so whatever. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. <clears throat> the, the, the particular video I'm responding to is, uh, it was like, it was like somebody recorded a PowerPoint presentation, so there was really no emotion behind it at all, but, uh, well, I guess you could say there's really only one emotion behind my videos, and that's, mm, annoyance? Is that an emotion? I'm very annoyed with, with people, and so I make videos yelling at them. I, I don't really, like, raise my voice or anything, but yeah, I yell at them, and, it, and it's all good, but... Anyhow, <clears throat> the slideshow made three main points, and that was that atheists, under, under atheism, can't account for, for certain things, and uh, one of them was uh, the uniformity in nature. Which, um, I don't see any uniformity in nature anywhere. I mean, there, there, there's, uh, deciduous trees, you know, you know, out, out across the street from my house. But, you know, if you go just the, the, I think it's like maybe five, ten miles to Airville. Somebody's going to correct me on this one. Somebody who lives in this area who watches my videos and knows how far away Bittersville is from Airville. But <clears throat> if you go the X amount of miles from Bittersville to Airville, there's coniferous trees. And that doesn't look very, you know, that doesn't seem very uniform to me. And then you, you also got to throw in, you know, I mean, look at Australia. There's kangaroos in Australia. I don't see any fucking kangaroos here. It doesn't seem very uniform to me, not at all. And then, and then you get things like you get mutations and, and like Siamese twins and and uh, and, uh, and and albino animals. So you know, right, right there, uniformity of nature. I don't see any. Okay. Um, another thing they talked about, as far as uh, uniformity in nature is concerned, is that gravity. Well, they said that uh, like that gravity could draw things. That for all we know, gravity could draw things up, but that's bullshit. Yeah, we'll go with bullshit. Uh, no, that that's bull piss. That's what it is. Um, gravity does not draw things down. Okay, it doesn't. Gravity draws objects towards other objects. And uh, th they bitched about us using the word, you know, relative. But yeah, whatever direction gravity pulls us is completely relative. And then they said something about the past and the present. If you watch the slideshow, you'll be just as confused as I am, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm just going to go... I, I, I wrote something down here, but it's just... It's pointless. It, cross it off. It doesn't matter. Um... <clears throat> And then they talk. The, the other two things that they talk about are, are atheists can't account for logic, and atheists can't account for morality. And I can just put them all into one big bundle here and carry them all at once. Okay, evolution. All right, because of evolution, humans were gifted this higher mind. Okay, it's something that animals do not possess lower animals than humans. And this higher mind is able to create things such as logic and morality, and they're, they're concepts that only exist in a higher mind. That And a higher mind can only exist through evolution. Mm -hmm. That's right. We evolved from monkeys into this higher mind. It's a fact. 
Uh, then, then they talked about the, the five senses later on, and, and that the five senses, they're not a gift from God. They're not. Okay? This again goes back to evolution. Huh. You know, um, the, the, the senses that we need to go about our day-to-day -day lives as animals, any animal, Look at moles, okay? Moles spend their whole lives underground. They don't have eyes. They evolved out of a need. They, they evolved out of the need for eyes. So they don't have them. Bats are blind. They're nocturnal animals. They live in the dark. They can't see out of their eyes. So they evolved um, a, a form of echolocation, like dolphins. Uh, and then after that, after all of these things that this bitch, I'm assuming it's a girl, she's the, my, my bride-to-be said it was a girl, or she may have, I don't remember, I might just be pulling that out of my ass, I don't know, but, f so, okay, this, if it's a girl, she's a bitch, if it's a, if it's a, a, a guy, it's, it's a bastard, okay, so, so this bastard a bitch, um, after claiming that atheists have no foundation for their arguments, decided that they were going to uh, quote us chapter and verse and talk about all of the things that God did for us and how they can account for the uniformity in nature and, and logic and morality and the five senses and blah 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 bullshit. Okay? You can't use the Bible to prove the Bible, goddammit. I don't know how many times we have to say this. Okay, number one, the Bible is not the word of God. The Bible was not written by God. It was not written by Jesus. It was written by Jesus' friends. Okay, it was written by man. You people acknowledge that. In my copy of the Bible, in both my copies of the Bible, every book you go to, it tells you the goddamned author's name. It tells you who wrote it, unless they don't know. But for the most part, they tell you who wrote it, and I never... So any book in the Bible that said it was written by God or written by Jesus, okay? So, uh, yeah, we don't have any foundation. We have no foundation. The Bible is no foundation. Well, that's not true. I have it propping up a, a, a leg on an uneven chair, and it's working great for that chair's foundation. Ah. Uh. Hope you enjoyed this one. I've been Aldous Valor, your judgmental asshole. You're my years of judging.